Notes, you have two options. Either you can import your already published article from an e-zine directory like e-zine articles, go articles, etc., or you can copy-paste your article by hand. You can also search for your article using this button here. Now that we have found our article, let's turn it into a video. In this screen, you'll need to fill out your article information like its title, body, etc. Since we are importing an article, the wizard has already filled everything out for us. The formatting of your article body is very important here because in the next step, AVR will analyze this text and break it into frames and items. For best results, all paragraph boundaries must be clearly marked using two enter keys like this. The narration voice here is the default computer voice which will read out your article. As you can see, the wizard has now turned our articles into frames and items. Each frame here is like a slide of a slideshow. The frame numbers are on the top here. Clicking on it will show the items inside it. There are three different types of items, headings, subheadings, and bullets. Headings are shown with a green color, subheadings with yellow, and bullets with blue. For example, this green item here represents the heading for your first frame. And these yellow items here show the subheadings. For the whiteboard theme, this is how the frame will look when turned into a video. To edit any item, you have to first click on it. This makes it the active item. You can identify an active item by this purple border around it. You can edit the text of this active item here. You can preview or change the voiceover for this item using these buttons here. This is my heading. Adding images to a video can drastically improve the video quality and increase viewer engagement. To add an image to an item, simply click on this panel here and select an appropriate image. You can also search for relevant images by keywords using this box here. This frame looks complete. Let's click the next button to go to our next frame now. As you can see, the items on this frame are in blue color instead of yellow. This is because the wizard has decided to display items on this frame as bullets instead of subheadings. To switch it back and display them as subheadings, use this setting here. Bullet items cannot have images attached to them, so there is no image panel this time. By the way, sometimes you may see some gray items like these, this is because the wizard has disabled some items to make your videos more appealing. Too many items can be boring for the viewer. If you wish to enable them again, just use this menu here. I would highly recommend watching our video on how to make an appealing article video, located inside the video tutorials for more tips. Anyway, here is a quick tip for our advanced users. To add more items to a frame, you can click this Add button here. You can perform certain actions on your active item, like removing it, moving it, etc., from this menu here. You can right-click on frame numbers to add remove frames. You can rearrange items by drag and drop, too. This is the contact screen. This is where you fill in the information for the viewer to contact you. The more information you add here, the better. This is the video customization screen should you want to use a custom background music color scheme, etc. The most important feature on this page is this new intro outro video option here. To make your videos look more exciting, we have hired dozens of actors to create intro outro videos. This way, a real human being will introduce your video. Hello, and welcome to my video. Let's talk about and then request the viewer at the end of your video to click on your link. This has shown to considerably increase the viewer engagement and increase traffic back to your website. Please click the link in description for more information. Bye! The watermark option here will put your site's logo or link at the bottom of the video. Notice this project completion bar here that shows your video quality score. We recommend having at least a 75% video score for all videos. 
clicking the summary bar will bring up the details on what needs to be fixed. The last few items here need to be checked by you as you complete these steps. Your project is now saved and has been queued for rendering. You will receive an email as soon as your video is created. You will also get a notification in your news feed once your video is ready.